Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Halo Fan for Life's Mega Bloks toy review of the UNSC Anti-Armor Cobra. This set is number 97139 and it has 460 pieces. What you're seeing here is the Anti-Armor Cobra set itself and let me give it a quick little spin here for you. This is a great little land vehicle. Well, not so little actually. It's bigger than the Warthog. And uh, what's great about this is it does have electronics in it, so it has uh, lights and sounds to it, which I'll show you momentarily. Uh, the ship, or the vehicle rather, does include uh, a cockpit for it so that you can fit a Spartan into it. And I'll show you where that goes. You just turn that. By the way, that's very cool that it does turn. And right here, you can lift that up. Here is the yellow Mark VI Spartan with a blue visor, which is very cool, that comes with the set. And it comes with a battle rifle, as you can see right there. So, you can just sit this little guy right down in here. Make sure he goes in secure, because if you put him right there, it doesn't quite go in. So you got to fit him in down just a little bit further, and then you can close the cockpit on him. Well, maybe I didn't quite get him in there all the way. Anyway, see, there we go. Okay, so you can close that. Now, what's cool about this set is that right here, this little back flap, actually, if you can see right there, might be hard to see in the video, but there's a little button here that's attached to this whole cannon assembly, which houses the batteries and whatnot. When you hit this little flap down, that's what activates the lights and sound. Now, I'm going to turn the light off here, and hopefully this will show up good on the video. Okay, so we hit it here. There we go. So you can see it turns yellow when the two prongs are on the outside. And if you keep pressing, you make that cool sound with it. So, now what we can also do is we can make this a larger cannon by popping off these parts of it and sticking it on the front. And that's kind of neat that it makes that sound. I don't know if that's supposed to be deliberate whenever you put this on or not, but it seems like it is because it seems like it happens every time that I do that without hitting this little flap. Okay, so let's turn the lights off one more time. And again, it has lights and sounds, but now you get a blue light. Very cool. And uh, it's a different sound as well. And again, if you keep hitting the, uh, that little flap there, it makes that really cool sound over and over and over again. Really awesome effect to it. So this is a cool set. Now, there's a couple things about this uh, vehicle here. It transforms into a, uh, uh, a stationary vehicle uh, whenever it goes to this mode where it has the two cannons side by side. So I'm going to move the Lazy Susan here that this is sitting on and show you how this works. Okay, there's a couple things about it. These front flaps here where the front wheels are flip down and then on the side these little flaps come out, and there's one on the other side as well, of course. Now, the back part here is a little bit confusing uh, if uh, you're not careful with it. So, there's a couple things about it. You want to flip up these little black flaps here. Okay, and then underneath, you want to pull out these two pieces. But make sure that this is down. You can flip this down as well. But you want to pull out... These are the legs to the sides here. Make sure you don't get them confused. Okay, so, there we go. Okay, so with these wheels, they tell you to turn them on their sides like this, so you can see the difference. This one's turned, that one's not. Okay, so you turn it to the side, and then you fold these wheels underneath like so. And then you close that up, you flip this back up, and you close these flaps down so it's more secure. There we go. Okay, and now flip that back down. Okay, so now these legs here, instead of fitting way back inside here, if you can see, it's a little hard to see in the video, but right here, a little hard to tell by the light, there's a little handle. And you click 
these legs into place like so. Let me get the other one here real quick. <clears throat> okay, so you do the same thing. And again, snap this into place if I can find it. <laughs> My wife's trying to hand me a flashlight while I'm getting this, but that's all right. Ah, it just turned out of position. That's what it was. There we go. Okay, so now that you have those attached, now what we have, and let me put this back on the Lazy, Lazy Susan so you can see it better. Now it's kind of got, and it doesn't quite fit on the Lazy Susan, so apologies on that. But now what we have is the anti-armor Cobra uh, in its stationary position with all the legs in place. So you've got this leg. These aren't quite legs, but they kind of uh, keep it uh, positioned. And then you've got the, black, the back legs as well, which do pivot front and back. And let's spin that around here so you can see that. It does pivot some. Which, uh, which is attributed to the handle that is underneath which these attach to. And then here's that, that whoop, <laughs> popped off my mistake. So here's that side one here again, and it just fits up here nicely, so that's pretty cool. So that's the anti-armor Cobra, but that's not all to the set. What's really great about this is beyond the vehicle, you also have this cool new shade turret. And this comes with a, uh, a red Halo 4 uh, Elite Miner. And I made a slight little modification to this. Let's, haha, <laughs> well. Uh, right here, the leg, uh, the, these little pegs uh, are supposed to go up higher up, but it makes the shade turret kind of sit at a strange angle like that. So I move them up here. Now, the thing about that is, it, what it actually ends up doing is it makes the shade turret sit on this flat clear piece as opposed to sitting on the, on the pegs, which I don't mind because it kind of makes it look like it's floating a little bit, and that's okay. Not a big deal. But what's cool about it is if you make that slight modification, then these four holes here can actually fit on top of studs on a base plate or something like that. So it'll be secure in place if you're putting it on a base plate like uh, any of the Battlescape platforms, for instance. So, again, uh, it has the Red Elite Miner, and that's cool. It was the first time it comes in this color. And, and that also, by the way, uh, quickly, does come with a purple plasma rifle. And then the last minifigure, and this is brand new to this set, is a Brute Stalker, which is very cool. Uh, the, uh, it comes with this uh, Brute Spike Grenade. And uh, it's actually really rubber. You can see that, uh, you know, it bends a bit. So you don't have to worry about the spikes or anything actually hurting you. Or if you're a parent with uh, kids, small kids, uh, it's not going to hurt their mouths. Though it is a small part, so please be careful. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a brute mauler as well. And the detailing on this is fantastic. Maybe a little hard to tell in the video, but it's got some nice sculpting right in here. It almost looks like chain mail. Uh, the paint is really good. As you can see, it's got some brown in here, some gray for the feet, darker gray, of course, blue all over, red dot here where the helmet's at. So this is a fantastic figure, and I hope this is not the last time that we see this figure. I hope we see it again. I'd like to see it again in this color, but unfortunately, they don't often come out with the same figure in the same color, unless it's like the uh, UNSC Marines, for instance. But I hope we see this figure in this color again. If not, I'd like to see it in maybe a little bit lighter blue, and as well where the blue is at, black instead, because I know it was kind of like that, I believe, in uh, Halo 3 ODST. So that's pretty cool. This is a really good set. Uh, like I said, it comes uh, with 460 pieces, and the set retails for right around $45, which makes it uh, the proper value for it. Uh, I always go by the... Uh, uh, the equation of 10 cents per piece, no matter what the piece is, so that you get a nice average that way. Now, there are plenty of extra pieces, and so what I did was I made a sort of, kind of, <laughs> mini uh, anti-armor cobra, and the good thing about this one, again, it's, it's not going to be exact, but what the heck, 
is that it actually also has a pivoting turret, which works from having this piece here connecting into the middle circle there. And that's what makes it be able to pivot and turn. So there's a little mini one there. I had some extra, some other extra pieces, so I made this. And if you see in the written review uh, as well on my site, halofanforlife.com, I use this, I turn it upside down, and I give it to my Spartan in this set. Make him hold on to the handle here. And I call this a mini, whoa, whoa, that popped off. That's okay, though. This is like a mini Gauss cannon. Uh, only a Spartan could hold something this powerful, though. So there's that. And then it does give you a few extra uh, purple pieces uh, for, not really for the, the uh, Covenant Shade, but there's a few extra pieces, so not much I could really do with this. I'm just going to say that this is like a little Covenant battery pack. But uh, anyways, again, it is a fantastic value. Uh, the fact that it has lights and sounds with it, that it transforms um, the two different lights as well, the three minifigures, totally worth it. Now, as you can see, I didn't put any stickers on mine. What, uh, what, what looks like stickers are already applied on this. I don't like to apply my stickers because I always worry about them peeling off over time. But uh, there's a nice little sticker sheet, and I'll show you that real quick. You can see that right here it says UNSC down here as well and there's a couple other things on there. Um, again, this is quite worth the money I believe. Um, it's a brand new ship or vehicle and it's never been seen before in the Halo Mega Bloks line. This was in Halo Wars and uh, I hope that this comes to the regular line of, uh, of Halo games even if it's only in campaign and maybe in custom games. But again, uh, thanks to Megablocks. Uh, this is a great set. I highly recommend it. And I will give this a complete 10 out of 10 for the value, the figures, the electronics, everything about it. It is a fantastic set. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Give me some comments below on uh, YouTube or reply on the blog for the written review, which will also have this video. And uh, thanks for listening.